In this video, I'm going to show you how we can find the partial derivatives of multivariable functions. Consider this function f of x and y is 2x to the power of 3 minus 5y squared plus 7x minus 4y plus 13. This function has two variables x and y are the variables of this function and so we can find the partial derivatives of this function with respect to x and with respect to y so for this function we have two partial derivatives the first one is f sub x the derivative of f with respect to x and the other partial derivative is derivative of f with respect to y. For finding the derivative of this function with respect to x, we have to take the derivative of every term that has variable x and we consider other terms as a constant. When we take derivative with respect to x, every term without x is a constant. So, for finding f sub x, the, der the partial derivative of f with respect to x, we only take the derivative of these two expressions. Because the other term, this term, this term, and this term are constant with respect to x. And so the derivative of those terms is 0. So, let us start. Derivative of 2x to the 3 is 6x to the 2. The derivative of negative 5y squared is 0 because in this term we don't have any x. The derivative of 7x is 7. The derivative of negative 4y is 0. And the derivative of 13 is also 0. But what is the partial derivative with respect to y? What is the derivative of this function with respect to y? When we take derivative with respect to y, we have to take derivative of these two terms and the other terms. These terms are constant because when we take derivative with respect to y, y is the variable and other variables of the function are constant with respect to y. So the partial derivative of f with respect to y is derivative of this term is zero because don't forget we are taking derivative with respect to y and every term without y is a constant and derivative of any constant is zero so derivative of this term is zero derivative of negative 5y to the 2 is negative 10y derivative of 7x is zero because we don't have any y in this term and derivative of negative 4y is negative this is how we can find the partial derivative of this simple function with respect to x and with respect to y. Let me show you another example. Now consider this function. f of x and y is x to the 4 plus 2xy squared minus 3y squared plus 4. We want to find the partial derivative of f with respect to x and the partial derivative of f with respect to y. Derivative of x to the 4 with the power rule from derivative is 4x to the 3. When we want to find derivative of this term with respect to x, attention, x is the variable and like 2, y squared is also a constant, is a coefficient for 2. So when you want to find the derivative of this term with respect to x, take the derivative of this term, the derivative of x is 1, and multiply the coefficient by that. So derivative of 2xy to the 2 with respect to x is 2y squared. Again, when we take derivative with respect to x, we only consider x as a variable and so y squared like 2 is coefficient for x and during the process of differentiating a term we only take derivative of the variable part and we copy we write the coefficients 
2 and y squared for x here are coefficients. They are constant. So we write the constant 2 and y squared. And derivative of x is 1. So derivative of 2xy squared with respect to x is 2y squared. Derivative of this term is 0 because we don't have any x. And derivative of the constant 4 is also 0. But what is the partial derivative with respect to y? In this term, we don't have any y, so derivative of x to the 4 with respect to y is 0. When we want to take derivative of this term with respect to y, y squared is the variable part of this term, but 2x is coefficient for y squared. So we have to write the coefficient, which is 2x, and we have to take derivative of y squared. What is derivative of y squared? 2y. So derivative of 2xy squared is 4xy because 2x times 2y is actually 4y. 2 times 2 is 4. Now we have to take the derivative of negative 3y squared and the derivative of negative 3y squared is negative 6y and the derivative of the constant 4 is 0. So the partial derivative of f with respect to x is 4x to the 3 plus 2y squared and the partial derivative of f with respect to y is 4xy minus 6y. Now let's do a bit more complicated example. Our function is y sine of xy plus e to the power of negative 2x. We want to find the partial derivative of f with respect to x and the partial derivative of f with respect to y. Both of the terms in this function, this term and this term, have variable x. So we have to find the derivative of this term and derivative of this term. For finding derivative of y times sine of xy, x is the variable and y is a constant because we are taking derivative with respect to x. So for finding derivative of this term, you don't need to use any product rule. y is a constant, is coefficient for this term. y here is something like 4, 10. When you have something like 10 sine of something, you are not using product rule for finding such a function because 10 is a constant. y here is also a constant. So when you want to find derivative of this function with respect to x, y is a constant so write the constant y and take derivative of sine of xy remember that derivative of sine is cosine so derivative of sine of xy is cosine of xy but note that inside function here is a function in terms of x. So based on the chain rule, not only you have to find the derivative of sine, you have to find the derivative of the inside of the sine. And the derivative of inside, the derivative of x, y with respect to x is y. Note that we are taking the derivative with respect to x. And when we take the derivative with respect to x, y is a constant here y times x. Derivative of x is 1, so derivative of xy is 1 times y or y. So derivative of the inside function is y. Again, note that when you want to find the derivative of xy, y is a constant, like 10. So we have 10 times x. What is derivative of 10x? 10. But here actually we have y times x or xy. When you take derivative of yx or xy with respect to x, the derivative is y. And then we have to find the derivative of e to the power of negative 2x. Remember that the derivative of e to a function is the same function times by derivative of the inside function of the or the exponent and derivative of f of x is f prime of x this is how we find derivative of exponential functions so derivative of e to the negative 2x is 
e to the power of negative 2x times by derivative of the exponent which is negative 2. So the partial derivative of f with respect to x is this expression, which if you like, you can simplify it and write it as you know that y here and y here multiplied by each other. So it's y squared cosine of xy and negative 2 e to the negative 2x. Now let's find the partial derivative of f with respect to y. Our second term here is without y. So the partial derivative of this term, the derivative of this term with respect to y is 0. So only we have to find the derivative of the first term. But note that in our first term, here and here we have y. And between these two, we have multiplication. Here is y is multiplied by sine of xy. So here you have to use the product rule. This term has y, the other term has y, so you have to use the product rule. Let me remind you the product rule. When you have a u, a function times v, the derivative of u times v is u prime times v plus u times v prime. Take the derivative of each term, multiply by the other one, and add them up. So back here, for finding the derivative of this term, first we have to take the derivative of y. The derivative of y with respect to y is 1. Don't write y prime. Note that here y is not a function for us. It's like, it's like a variable. It's like a normal variable like x. What is the derivative of x? 1. What is the derivative of y? 1. Note that again. Here in multivariable functions, all variables are the same for us. There's no difference between x and y here. So the derivative of y is 1. Time is y. The second term, sine of xy plus now we have to write the first function multiplied by derivative of the second function. Derivative of sine of xy is cosine of xy. But don't forget you have to multiply by derivative of inside. Derivative of xy with respect to y is x. Note that here we are taking derivative of this term with respect to y. So x is a constant, is coefficient for y. We write the coefficient and we take the derivative of y, but the derivative of y is 1. So x times 1 is x. So the partial derivative of f with respect to y is sine of xy plus, if you multiply this x by y, xy cosine of xy. Before I show you the, the next example, let me show you the different notations that we have for partial derivatives. These notation sometimes confuses students and it's better to get familiar with these notations. So far, the partial derivative of f with respect to x we use this notation f sub x but the other notation that we can see in the textbooks is this notation df over dx this is another notation and it has the same meaning there's no difference between this notation and this notation both of these notations mean the same thing. We want to find the derivative of the function with respect to x. So, for example, if in this question they ask what is the partial derivative of f with respect to x, the answer is, again, the same thing. There is no difference between this notation and this notation. The other notation that sometimes we can see in the textbooks is f sub 1. But what this 1 means? Actually, this 1 means the first variable of the function. And note that in this example, in this question, the first variable is x. So f sub 1 means take the derivative of the function with respect to the first variable. The first variable is x.
Also, you can find this notation in some textbooks. D, capital D, sub 1, F. This has the same meaning. Take derivative. This D is maybe abbreviation for derivative of the function F with respect to the first variable, which is again here X. It depends to the function. What is the first variable? And it is possible that you see this notation in some textbooks. D, the capital D, which is derivative of the function f with respect to x. These are different notations. But don't confuse yourself with the notations. All of them have the same meaning. Take derivative, simply, with respect to the first variable, which is usually x. And so, for f, y derivative the partial derivative of f with respect to y we can write these notations f sub 2 derivative with respect to the second variable of f or d sub y of f let's do another example the function is f of x and y is x squared e to the power of x y plus cosine of x squared plus y squared and we want to find the partial derivative of f with respect to x and the partial derivative of f with respect to y for finding the derivative of the first term here with respect to x note that this and this have x so for finding the derivative of x squared times by e to the xy we have to use the product rule based on the product rule first we have to find the derivative of x squared with respect to x which is 2x times by the second function plus write again the first function which is x squared times by derivative of second function but what is the derivative of e to the xy we know that the derivative of e to any expression is the same function multiplied by derivative of the exponent and derivative of xy with respect to x is y because we take derivative of x and derivative of x is 1 1 times y is y so the derivative of e to the xy is e to the xy times yy plus now we have to find the derivative of cosine of x squared plus y squared. The derivative of cosine is negative sine, so negative sine of x squared plus y squared multiplied by the derivative of the inside. Derivative of x squared is 2x and derivative of y squared is 0. So derivative of the inside is just 2x. And if you want to write your answer in more simplified form, you can write your answer in the form of 2x e to the xy plus x squared y e to the xy minus 2x. This 2x multiplies by this negative, so we have minus 2x sine of x squared plus y squared. Now let's find the partial derivative of f with respect to y. For finding the derivative of this term with respect to y, x squared when we take derivative with respect to y is a constant is a coefficient for this step so we write the coefficient and we just take the derivative of e to the xy and the derivative of e to the xy again is the same function multiplied by the derivative of inside the derivative of xy is x now we have to find the derivative of cosine of x squared plus y squared the derivative of cosine again is negative sine so let's me put negative here negative sine of x squared plus y squared times by the derivative of inside the derivative of x2 is 0 and the derivative of y squared is 2y so this is our answer 
for the partial derivative of f with respect to y. If we multiply this x by x2, we can write this in the form of x to the 3 e to the x y minus 2y sine now x squared plus y squared. I hope by watching this video you get a bit familiar with the partial how you can find the partial derivative of multivariable functions. In the next videos I will show you more complicated examples of partial derivatives of multivariable functions. If you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel and see you in the next videos.